Okay. We ready? Yeah, I think we are. I, we're ready as well. We're not saying we ready. <laughs> can, you put your, can, 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 you put, ready. can you put your book down? No, I need No, he needs problem. the book. It's okay. <laughs> Don't you love brothers? This is all this recorded. This is what I've grown up with. Right? Yeah. Brothers, I love it. <laughs> Jen, you're from a uh, SA Sporting dynasty. Mm. Uh, what was it like growing up in the Williams family household? Fun. It really was like arguments, fights. Uh, we were the sort of people that could uh, fight with each other, and then someone would come along and you know go, "Oh, someone's wrong," and all of a sudden you side with your sibling. You know, like that's what we've always been like. And mum was always really caring, and dad was caring and driven, and so I I lucked into a really good family. If everyone had one like mine, I think the world would be a really nice place. In many ways, I was expected to be the smartest. My dad took great pride in me being smart. And um, so he, right from the start, you know, I always had to do the academics really well. And, but probably the biggest thing was uh, the boys were always given the real expectation of being great at sport. A, a group of women at Teachers College who uh, had a major influence on you and also had a major influence on, on women's sport. Can you tell us a little bit about that group? I hit there the first day and all of a sudden just met these other women that were just the same, that wanted to be good, that liked and really, really fun. And um, all of a sudden it felt like I was home going to this place and we forged a friendship over years but the friendship it wasn't just about um, one of us being great, it was we worked out if we got each other great, the sum of all of us made it better in every sport. Jen, does anything uh, frustrate you about um, women's sport today? Um, yeah, I think um, women aren't playing in their um, mastery years. I think there's a few who make it and stay at a high level. But they're bringing in 15 and 16 year olds, I'm dealing with lots, who are being promoted to playing league and high levels too early. And what frustrates me now is it's like, if you're not good enough by 17 or 18, whoop, off you go, we'll find something else. And it's, the truth is, they haven't had enough time yet to develop. I find that the world is full of people who will help others and then there's some that don't believe. And I even today notice when I talk to some men, their eyes glaze over and they think, oh, what, she's not a woman, what has she possibly got to offer? And I go, that's their problem because in the long run, when you find smart, good people, they recognise each other and they recognise that it doesn't matter what form you come in as far as race or gender or anything else like that, it's actually, this person's gonna make me better if I actually do listen. supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be hard work, but it's supposed to be one of the most joyous things. And that probably is the fact that I'm finding a lot of young women are dropping out because there's no joy in it. It does frustrate me. Okay. I'm just trying to memorise this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a little bit of time yeah. for me. This, we do edit some of these bits out. Like, <laughs> no, who cares? <laughs> I'm hoping what you're actually going to come up with is the fact that nothing is ever perfect, but we have bloody fun doing it and we get really good as we do more of it. Jen, tell us a little bit, bit about your obsession with, with colour and, colour and, you know, the fluoro shoes. Well, I'm going to start blaming my mother because I remember being in your, at Emmanuel College and, you know, in those days people didn't have a lot of money and my mother had sewn me this seersucker lime green dress that I went and I thought I looked great. Like, I don't think anyone else thought I looked great. But when I've come across psychology now, the funny thing is colour actually makes people feel better. And colour is one of those things that you need to add to life. So in many ways, colour was just a reflection of how I feel on the outside. It's all of those things that are you prepared to be different? Are you prepared to stand out? Jen, uh, as we walk into your front door, I couldn't help but notice <laughs> there's an eclectic mix of superheroes uh, in the cabinet. What, what's the deal with the superheroes? So superheroes, you know, they work with my work 
on the outside they might look like everything's easy and great and people treat them like that but on the inside they've got a whole lot of things going on you know I've grown up with people telling me that sporting people were superheroes and I'll tell you no they're not they're just like everyone else and they've got great things and the real superheroes are the ones that actually do things for other people and actually make sure people's lives are good. Jen, whilst I'm, I'm yet to see this, I understand that you can tear up a, a dance floor. Um, what type of music do you like to, to dance to? Or, or music. Music. It's like music. people ask me what's my favourite colour and I go colour. What's my favourite music? Music. Anything that has a good beat. Um, words I like too, you know, like if we're doing the sing-along. And rhythm. Rhythm makes people better players. And when you actually feel like you're in the, what I say, the hero zone, the god zone when you're playing, that's the dancing zone. That's the one when you're on the dance floor and everyone's like this. And so I actually tell people, when you're feeling like that, that's when you're ready to play your best. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. Educator, record breaker, in plural laces. Big motor, cross coder, social connector. Hall of Famer, team player, South Australian. If you overlook me, I'll be sure to prove you wrong. If you take it from me, I'll take it back to where it belongs. Changer, wicked taker, demonstrator, groundbreaker, history maker, dominator, deep thinker, straight shooter, and a sister, commentator, goal kicker, round quarter. He told him once, but he didn't hear. So I kicked down the door and I shouted in his ear, I'm the colour you can't erase. Across the line won't be put in one place. I'm gonna break this open wide Like the suffragette Mary Lee I'll stand up and fight for what I believe A superhero for real life Foss and Vaughn, memories of Alberton A photo pavilion Courageous captain, three brothers, love and expectation. Author, writer, energizer, psych master, disco dancer, bright colors, wife and mother, trailblazer, agitator, a force of nature. If you overlook me, I'll be sure to prove you wrong. If you take it from me, I'll take it back to where it belongs. Roll call. Stories to tell of a groundswell They were homegrown with close bonds Cavaliers with no fear Revolutionary game plans Highly skilled rebel girls One in a million, the brave, the brilliant I told him once but he didn't hear So I kicked down the door and I shouted in his ear I'm the colour you can't erase I cross the line one one place, I'm gonna break this open wide. Like the suffragette Mary Lee, I'll stand up and fight for what I believe. A superhero for real life. I'm the colour you can't erase. I cross the line, won't be put in one place. I'm gonna break this open wide. Like the suffragette Mary Lee. Stand up and fight for what I believe A superhero for real life <laughs> Did you see that? You didn't see that, did you? That is... Oh, guys! That is amazing! That is... That is unbelievable! Oh, wow! Wow! Oh, you made me cry. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that is outstanding, guys. I love it because it's got um, energy and it's got rhythm and it's got words that actually, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, it encompasses a lot of people and it, it's all the things that you go, yeah, wow. You, go, you guys have done an amazing job.
have done an amazing job. <laughs> and I did like the film clip. <laughs> <laughs>